hi there guys welcome to another youtube video today we're going to be looking at uh, how to install run tp all right we're going to install it we're going to look around and uh, we're going to explore and see how this thing work in the past we did a video with uh, casa os and we looked at it and we saw how it worked uh, basically uh, some people are claiming that this this might be easy uh, easier than casa os uh, in my case, uh, I prefer Casa OS, but uh, let's set this up and uh, see how this works. Uh, the first step, guys, in my case, I always install um, basically a Proxmox LXC container first, and then I install each application as its own LXC container for backup purposes. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that the container is running, uh, let's go ahead and uh, try and start it up. And, and guys, as you know, the first thing I always do when I'm uh, installing a Ubuntu LXC container is that I'm going to run the update. So someone asked me why I always put a dash dash yes. Um, it's because in Linux, when you're trying to install something or upgrade something, it's going to ask you, hey, do you want to go ahead and, and install this? In my case, putting dash dash yes, it's going, and say, it's going to say yes uh, at any, any prompt that it might get. So looks like apt was not found. It's because there is an error. Let's fix that. Alright guys, now that this is done, let's look at RunTP. So as we can see, RunTP is free and open source and I do believe it's managed by the community. So I always say guys, if you see a, if you see a project like this uh, and you know of any way to support it, uh, try to support by donating or even contributing code, that's going to help. So if you guys uh, can contribute in any way you can, even if it's talking to your friends about it it helps to keep the um the project going and as you can see here it's built and maintained by the community and also by volunteers so there is no guarantee of support or security uh when you use uh you run tp so uh think about this when you install this in your home lab all right so as you can see guys they use a one command um one command uh curl uh, command here. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're gonna install that and uh, We're gonna go to our LXC and run that but first let's install car Not part but apt Yes All right, let's paste it in that command What do we have here? Um, all right, looks like we're running into a problem. Let me look into this and I'll be back. Okay, so after fiddling around guys, I finally found a way to install it and uh, now it is installed. Uh, and uh, we're probably just setting it up here. So let's go ahead and set up a nice password. Um, so before I go anywhere, guys, uh, to fix it, uh, instead of running this command, um, I had to run a command on this website here. Um, this is the command that I ran. So this didn't work. But this one did work so if you guys ever run into this issue um, you can always come here they have pretty good documentation and you can look at it and see how you can um, install if you're having problems with that 
um, let's go back here so I'm setting it up so this is our email and um, that's the password let's register no and we'll do a seven enter all right um, so we're in and uh, it looks uh, very straightforward guys everything uh, is as you would expect we have our dashboard we have my apps uh, app store etc the first thing i'm going to do is go to the settings and see what we have here so on the settings page we have our version um it tells us we're already up to date so we don't have to do anything there um and on the installation page here they tell you how you can update or get the last version of run tp if you ever need to so if you if you set this up on proxmox on lxc container you can always come to this uh page here and you can find a way to install it and also they give you a way to install a specific uh, version if you want to update to a specific uh, version or downgrade okay so the settings uh current version and over here you can see that we can do things such as um set up our dns here we have our ip i do not recommend uh, maybe changing this here however i haven't tested that have your local domain here you can download the certificate um, again uh, this is a thing you can set up in a different place um, security you can change your email and change your password you can set up your two-factor here uh, you can look at logs and see what's happening in your system um the app store is where we want to be so guys uh this is basically kind of uh similar to casa os the reason why uh casa os is better is because you kind of have more options and different things you can do well that's basically to my liking but um this also looks uh, well put together it has more than 200 applications or over here and things that you already have and you already use are packaged over here so as an example guys uh let's try to find an app called memos so this one is basically a note-taking application that helps you uh take notes and things like that let's install it uh, we don't have a reverse proxy however i'm going to be looking at this and see uh, how we can benefit from this reverse proxy feature but for now we're going to be installing just one application all right that was quick that's uh was quick so it's installed i'm going to try to open it so it has a url that I already set up but in our case let's use the ip address okay that looks actually pretty good so you are registering as a single host or sign it so this is create an account youtube password and here you have it guys we have our our memos running this is a demo note for YouTube. Yeah, works just fine. And we come back here, we can stop it. Check if it's running. No, it's not running. Okay, so start. What do we have in settings? The reverse proxy again here, we can do a reset. Uh, logs, we can look at logs and see what's happening. I can I, I have to say I like this uh, setup where they have some kind of an integration where you can do an integration with the reverse proxy. So I'm gonna be taking a look at that. So my apps, this is all of the apps that you already installed. And also here, you can use it as like a dashboard where you can have your different uh, things like let's say, uh google um let's say search anything and um
and of course i don't have a logo but you can see here you can add it as like basically another uh, dashboard where you have all your applications all in one place and if we go to the app store again and uh, erase the search you can see that you have basically pretty much uh, all of the good applications I do believe there is a way to look under the hood and look at the docker compose and see what things uh, are happening in the background so that's something also to keep in mind guys that you can do so yeah um, I don't know what else to add guys I'm just saying check this out it's a very nice um, application that you can use uh, to host uh, multiple other apps so yeah that's it for this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in uh, you know a future video see you guys later thank you for being here bye 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 bye